I want to thank everybody for coming today. My name is Stephen Flanagan. I'm from the Conservative Society for Action. The Conservative Society for Action formed about a year ago because we knew what was going to happen in 2010. We knew what was going to be at stake. We could see the writing on the wall. We could see what was going to happen with the electorate. And of course it happened. It was our worst nightmare and we're now living through it. One of the most important things that happened was with the New York State Senate. I guess, I don't know, how many people were paying attention this year when we had gridlock? Now, gridlock isn't necessarily bad. I think a weak government is a good government. However, we on Long Island and in the suburbs lost our power in Albany for the first time in many decades. The political reality in New York State is that the assembly is always going to be controlled by the city. New York City. The upstate cities. And it comes down to the political reality where we come from is that it's us, meaning the suburbs and Long Island, against the interests of New York City. The assembly is always going to be in the pocket of New York City. It's just the way the numbers work. The only chance we have is in the New York State Senate. It's extremely important that we win this seat. Brian Foley came into office I wonder what his platform was. Let's think about it. Raise taxes? I guess so, he voted for it. Biggest budget in New York State history? I guess so, he voted for it. Increases in property taxes? Elimination of the star rebate program? I guess he was for it because he voted for it. Not only did he vote for these things, including the MTA tax, how many small business people we have here today? Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Did you get your retroactive MTA tax bill? Yes. What's that going to do for hiring? What's that going to do for your bottom line? What's that going to do for business and the economy? Let's face it, we have a representative here, Mr. Foley, who is not representing us. He's representing New York City interests. He's a puppet of the New York City control. He's a puppet of his party. He has to go. It's as simple as that. The Conservative Society for Action has grown in recent months to have represent thousands of members. We started with a couple of dozen, then a couple of hundred, and now thousands. And I can tell you that the, one of the most important races coming up this year is this particular race. And if we don't get rid of somebody like Brian Foley, we really are, are in big trouble, not just this year and in coming years, but for a decade. The other political reality is that this is the year of the census. They're going to start rewriting the assembly districts, the senate districts, the congressional districts. If New York City controls, and the Democrats in Albany control that power, they're going to redistrict us out of existence. It's extremely important that this seat is won. Our organization is behind it 100%. Our thousands of members are going to work hard, we're going to be in the streets, and we're going to do everything we can to make sure that Brian Foley is defeated and Lee Zeldin is the next New York State Senator. Okay, thank you for coming. It's a great honor to be the first speaker, speaker at the official opening of this campaign headquarters. We're dedicated to this fight. I know every one of you are. We need to spread the word. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.